welcome to my review of the Reebok Forever Float Ride Energy. The term sleeper hit is used to describe something that becomes a big success despite having relatively little promotion. And this term can definitely be used to describe the Forever Float Ride Energy. Everything about the Forever Energy screams simplicity. And this is the main reason why the Forever Energy has made runners worldwide take notice. Reebok gets the basics right for a very affordable price. The material used is an engineered mesh which has great breathability and support. While it gets the job done and is nothing fancy, it feels a bit scratchy, something which you'd expect from a $100 shoe. The tongue is padded and not sleeved, so it does move around during runs but not enough to irritate. The heel dip and collar come up higher than on most shoes and might dig into you if you wear short or hidden socks. The fit can be best described as roomy. I went true to size so there is plenty of room for my feet to expand in the hot, humid Singapore climate. Even though the float ride energy is roomy, I wouldn't recommend ordering a half size smaller or there might not be enough depth in the toe box. I make sure that I wear thick socks to get the perfect fit. The smooth insole is glued to the bottom of the shoe. It's soft and spongy when compressed. There is no sink in plushness underneath the insole which makes the float ride energy suitable for short tempo runs. The Forever Float Ride Energy is very flexible and bends at the ball of the foot. The thin outsole and the unstructured upper allow the shoe to flex naturally up in the front of the shoe. The outsole is full contact and consists of a thin layer of soft carbon rubber. It grips well on both wet and dry surfaces, and the fact that it is full contact ensures an even spread of wear. After 50 miles, I can only see slight wear on the outer heel area. Unlike other lightweight cushion trainers such as the Hoka Rincon and New Balance Beacon, the Forever Float Ride Energy has no midsole exposed to the ground. I expect it to last much longer than both the Beacon and Rincon, about 800 kilometers. The midsole is made from an expanded polyurethane material. It's similar in appearance to Boost and Everrun, but is lighter, shinier and feels fluffier. If you look closely, you can see that the pellets which are fused together to create the midsole are smaller in size than Boost and Everrun. The midsole softness is medium soft. Not as soft as Boost, but not as firm as Everrun. It has an excellent blend of cushioning and responsiveness while not being too heavy. The ride is incredibly smooth and distraction free due to the one piece foam midsole. While the cushioning in the heel is generous, I found the forefoot cushioning lacking for runs longer than 25 kilometers. The Reebok Forever Float Ride Energy is one of the most versatile shoes I have in my shoe collection. It has no major flaws and is a dependable daily trainer for all distances from 5 kilometers up to 25 kilometers. For the next version of the shoe, I would love Reebok to change the upper to a softer, more premium feeling material without raising the price and to add more cushioning in the forefoot. At $100, the Forever Float Ride Energy undercuts every other lightweight cushion trainer on the market, making it a must buy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe to the channel.